Work Safe New Zealand and the Ministry of Health have asked that organisations, you, put protocols in place um, to keep staff and um, visitors, um, residents and tenants as, as safe as possible um, during the alert level two um, for the foreseeable future. So there's a few things that you need to have in place. Um, one of the first things and one of the most important things is to make sure that everybody coming um, to your workplace is well um, and that involves asking those questions. Are you well? Um, do you have any new um, symptoms of cough, shortness of breath, fever, um, sore throat, runny nose um, and possibly loss of smell? Or have you been in contact recently with anyone who is suspected or confirmed to have COVID? And as long as the answer to those questions is no, then, you know, people can come and visit you and they can um, come to your workplace or you can visit them. Um, the next thing that you probably need to think about is a contact tracing log um, and making sure that everybody who you take information from understands the purposes of that information and the information is to be used if contact tracing is needed and that's in um, backwards if one of your work staff or a visitor or a resident or a tenant becomes unwell then the ministry of health will use that to uh, connect and link with other people to make sure that they haven't um, got COVID. so it's for safety um, the kind of details that you need to let people know that you will be taking, um, well, you'll need their full name, not a nickname, their full name, um, their physical address, um, the date and time that they visited, and if staff did use PPE, um, it would be good just to um, write down that that was used and the reason why that was used, and then just keep that stored somewhere safe. It can either be paper-based or it can be electronic. Keep that for about two months, um, at least two months. Um, and then you really need, especially if it's from a third party, you need to destroy the information or delete the information after um, that time. And under the Privacy Act, actually cannot use it for any other purposes. So for example, if you've got a great newsletter um, or anything like that, you can't use that list um, just to get in contact with people. You have to make sure that you only use it for the purpose that you've collected for. Um, so that's that's something to do. Then the other thing that you can do is make sure that anyone comes to your workplace or and your, of course your staff, but any visitors, any contractors, they know that your expectations and the expectations of work work safe um, are that they have protocols and practices in place to keep others safe. So again, that's that they need to check symptoms before they go and do home visits, and other people need to um, ensure their own well-being when they come to your workplace too so there's a both both people are responsible for that um, then you can provide advice and information for people when they come um, and that could be written information or it could be a short video clip and we might do one um, that you can show other people um, when they when they arrive so that they they understand what's expected of them too and really that will be uh, hand hygiene distancing and then the contact log so they'll expect somebody to be collecting information about their details in some way.